going to give you a response that is favorable to you and unfavorable to me. Come on, Simi. It is going to favor all of us. Why are you this scared? <laughs> Rachel, precious, I appreciate your efforts, but I'm sorry I can't. Okay, if it's because of the 2,000 naira I have to contribute, then don't worry. I'll pay for you. And I'll also provide the shoes and clothes as well. I'm sorry, I'm not interested. Thanking me. Why did you greet me? If I don't greet you, you say I don't have respect. Now I greeted you and you are thanking me. Who says thank you is not because? Sister in your lap. That thank you was not from your mind. I know it. See me, please. I don't have your time here. I have important things to think of. Okay, no problem. I'm not important. Can I give me back my greetings if you don't mind? We are sorry. Ah. Jesus, something is bothering me. Is it about modeling or makeup? See me. Okay, sorry, what's budget? I'll be of helping you. Can you borrow me 6,000 naira? 6,000 naira? From where? Nyola, I have told you. There's no way I can raise 6,000 naira for you. You're lying because I know you have the money. How money from where? Do I earn salary? You earn pocket money from daddy. You think if I was still a student, I'll be begging for 6,000. What's, what, 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 what's his key? Then go back to school. At least dad has been begging to go back for your master's. Bookie, stop talking so much and borrow me this money. I don't have. Even if I have, I won't give you 6,000 naira for the purpose you want you for. Hey, now I know who my true enemies are. Yes, I'm your enemy. Because I don't want to borrow you money to buy a guy birthday gifts to make him love you. So you don't want him to love me, right? Not by borrowing money to buy him gifts. You know nothing about being caring and romantic. You can show that you care without gifts, especially when you can't afford them. Mm. Thank you. It's not that I don't want to attend the party. Then what? It's not as if you're also forcing you to attend the party. But if you miss this party, see me. If you miss this party, you regret it big time. How? Aside the phone, you also have the chance of meeting and mingling with Unilag fine boys. And the phone is also very important. There's enough to drink and eat on that day. But we'll all play and swim in the pool. Or don't you want to be friends with university guys? Is there a swim pool at party venue? Of course. I mean, it's a poolside party now. And we could be performing live. Oh, I would love to be there. You should be there. You must be there. I can't. If my dad finds out, he will kill me. Let me tell you something, Simi. My guy is in 200 level in Unilag. He's the only one that gave me the three IVs that will take the three of us in on that day. Yes, and also, you and I will meet Rachel's guy. They will treat us and treat us better. Do you realize we're having me book test next week? You are just so annoying. What is wrong with you? How could you be talking about us when we have a lifetime opportunity to spend with the university guys? What was with the university guys? I didn't know human beings like us. To be pleased now, this is important to me. So it's also my career plan. Like seriously, I don't see myself lending you 6k from the little I'm saving for my restaurant business. To be so your restaurant plan is now bigger than a problem that can hurt your sister. To be your elder sister for that matter. Any, the fact here is that you have not even stated what the fatal nature problem of yours is. Why do we always like to know the problem people have before lending them help? Because that will help us determine and prioritize the issue on ground. Like seriously, my priority right now is to save for my restaurant business. And you should be helping me with that. Toby, I can help you. Even morally and financially if things take shape. I don't have a cobble to give you right now. But I would advise you. Ush! If you know you cannot lend me, there's no need of advising me. Huh? Thank you. It's turn by turn. Let me now see. Okay, let me. Don't 
forget. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Rachel, I'm Simi, not Jack. Look, I have volunteered to provide the work to wear all the parties, so you have nothing to worry about. I'm even taking care of the 2K you are supposed to contribute, just in case we need to buy anything. So you see, you have nothing to worry about. I have my parents to worry about, especially my dad. Eh, you tell him we have a good practical and you'll be returning home late. Yes. Ahem, Simi, let me ask you something. Have you tested them shawarma? Shawarma? What's that? It's a foreign to ya. At least that's what they told me. Mm. What about Mouet? Mouet? Is that another foreign to ya? It's a foreign wine. I need to wake up and stop being a daddy's girl. Liver, always thinking about books and living like you're in a convert. Simi, I promise you, your dad will never find out. And you drink enough Mouet and eat enough shawarma. And also take a cool dive in the foreign swimming pool. And also take a shot with whiskey, my dear. It's a lifetime opportunity. So, are you in or out? Perhaps we'll be doing that with best shawarma. Shawarma? Uh, well, I've not tried it before, but I can. So, how is it made? It's made with mostly meat and cabbage, tomatoes and the rest of it. So is that Sia right? Simi, how did you get to know about Shama? And they taught us. No, it's an assignment, food and nutrition. Oh, that's good. So when are you expected to submit it? I'll let you know once I'm ready. That would be interesting. No way I will help you out. You would score 100 out of 100. <laughs> but can we also use fish in making Shama? Mm -mm. It's not only fish, it's bomb. What do you mean I'm lying? You're lying and you know it. Goodness Lord. What am I lying about? You told me you wanted to borrow 6,000 naira from me. And so? To buy bed gifts for Richard. I not told you that's a lie. I may consider giving you the money. Just come out with the truth. What are you talking about? What else do I need this for? Poolside party. Holding at Ocean Point Hotel Friday this week. Bukola, are you alright? You can pretend all you want, but I have found out. Found out what? What poolside party? Here it is. Hmm? You can hide it from anybody, but definitely not from me. If you don't tell me the truth, Daddy will hear about us. I'm telling you the truth, it's not mine. So they pulled side party invitation card, developed legs, and walked into this house, Abby? I think so. No, I don't know. You think so? Oh, you don't know? Uh, uh, no problem. Daddy will hear about this, and it must be investigated. No, no, please don't go. Why? Um, I am... Um... Are you ready to tell me who gave the Ivy legs to walk into this house? Okay, it's me. What? I'm the one that brought it. So you are planning to attend a poolside party? Baby last card? Eh? Hey! Television. Then why are you staring at me as if I am the television? Say, so Mom, it's a mistake. Mistake? <laughs> what is a mistake? Oh, are you mistaking me for a television? No, Mommy, I. Say, me. What do you want to say? I. Mom, everybody should account this evening. Uh uh. <laughs> and how does that concern you? Are you now my auditor? No, Mommy. Um, say, me. I heard the government wants to demolish our shops. And I'm here to see if it's going to be on the news. So my dear baby, say whatever you want to say before the news comes on, okay? 
Okay, mommy. Can you bring me 6,000 naira? I'll give you when daddy returns. 6,000 naira? I should borrow you 6,000 naira? See me, since when did that start? Well, my name I should ask you to give me. You say you've not balanced your accounts. That should be my daddy. So, oh, so you now want me to borrow you 6,000 naira? Hey, come. Oh, do you think you have grown so big now that I can't flog you again? Mom, what did I say wrong now? Simi, don't ever come to your mommy to ask her to borrow you 6,000 naira. Not even 6,000, but money again. Do you understand? Yes, mommy. I didn't hear that. Do you understand? Yes, mommy. Good. Now, my dear. What do you need 6,000 Naira for? Alpha, how did you do? I hope you know this is blackmail. Hope you are not yet to insult me. Thought we had a deal. What if I said I'm not going to party again? Alpha, oh, no. See me, why are you talking like this now? You know you are helping me to help yourself. And I can't ask daddy and mommy for money now. They won't give me now. You're the only one that can help me. Yeah, I've told mommy. Hey, what did she say? She said she cannot give me the own money. Hey, how much did she promise to give you? Two thousand naira. She said I should meet daddy for the rest, but daddy is not back. Hey, hey, that's good. You know what you do? You go to the city room, sit down and wait for daddy to return. Yeah? Hey? What I sleep? What if daddy returns late? I need this money on feeling you tomorrow now. And your both side parties on Friday. Both side parties. Always the bomb. <laughs> Wait, how is both side like? Then yeah, you'll find out when you get there. And yeah, anyway, yeah, where's the money mommy gave you? Where's it okay? She said I should get from that first that she needs to balance her account, are eh? Yes. Okay. First thing tomorrow morning. Make sure you get it from her before she sneaks out to our shop. Yeah? High five. Uh uh no. High five. See, Miss Sola. Daddy. You know, this, your practicals are a bit on the high side. Daddy, I'm not lying. That's the amount. Angel, I have not said you're lying. I just want to make sure that these practicals have equal academic benefits, okay? Daddy, food and insurance are usually expensive. Didn't you do it in school? What and what do you need to buy? Daddy, I'm preparing Shama. It's also called Friends here. And all the properties you can't have friends as well. What properties? I'm preparing three sets of shawarma and I need goat meat, chicken and ramen, almost foreign. Foreign goat meat, foreign chicken and foreign ram? So they are only late for school. Mommy has given me own share already. Okay, Angel. Okay. You just make sure that uh, you get good grades from this. Um, from this foreign <laughs> whatever. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. One more. One more. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. You make sure you get good grades. Work out though. Why? How come? Daddy said he cannot spend 4,000 on food and nutrition practicals. He said after all, I didn't enroll it in my way. Hey, Jesus. We should have convinced him that you needed the experience now. I tried. But one. you did not try hard enough, see me. Ah! Let's go inside. Daddy must give you this money today today. Let's go. Why is this desperate? You better take your money, Jim. So you've been playing on my intelligence, Simi? I'm just pulling your legs. Take job. You're just pulling my legs. Eh? Simi? Baby, last card. Mind yourself. Oh. The baby girls are saying pussy side parties. Eh? Big girl. Take care of it. Do you complete it, Abby? But aren't you going to give me anything out of the money? Simi, a deal is a deal. That wasn't part of our deal. You go for your pool side party, I cover for you. I get my sister. Oh yeah, run to school and don't be late.
sessions, you are not saying anything. How could you be that careless? I wasn't careless. I used to under a shoe wrap. You have kept it in your school bag. My elder sister Buki always goes to my bag to borrow pen. So I thought that would have been the safest place to hide it. Well, thank God you've got it back and we're all going to the party. Thank God. Anyway, let me have it. Let me keep it for you to tomorrow before you lost it this time. I think that's better. Mm -hmm. See me, I've got two bikinis for you and I. How about the party dress you promised? Everything is intact. So, when are we to be me tomorrow? Mm, I can't wait to taste shawarma and wet. I can't wait. If only I can take a picture of this kid, my life will be in order. Mm. How are you, my dear? It's fine. How was school today? School was good. Mm. Only one class out of four classes held. Really? Mm. Well, I hope you made good use of uh, the library during that period. <laughs> I did, Dad. Good. Mm. Dad, mm? Um, there's an issue I want to report to you. What is it? I saw a poolside party invitation card that I thought belonged to Eniola. What do you mean by a poolside party invitation card? See <laughs> Toby, do you think he's going to like the chair? Any, do me a favor. If he doesn't like it then, yeah. give it to me, I'll appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Be ready to date me soon, huh? Date you? Uh -huh. Oh, I thought these were just friendly birthday gifts. I just meant to make him date you. And your love. Daddy, I am more than sure of what I am saying. Really? Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay, Papa. Okay. Uh, Daddy, let me go change. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Now, where is the letter or invitation card to the poolside party? Daddy spoke as if he saw the IV and you're the only one who knew about the party. Well, I'm sorry. Buki was telling you about it. Buki! See, you don't just worry. I'm going to work out something, okay? Something like what? Tomorrow is the party and Daddy says that she'll step an inch out of this house. But how did Buki get to know about the party? She heard about it. From which radio station, Staniola? What's that supposed to mean? I've told you not to worry, I'm going to work out something, so why are you still complaining? Why won't I worry? I've made all plans to attend the party and now that they have placed an embargo on my movement. Do you want to place a bet on you for that party and I didn't find out? How? Um, Daddy, please, there's nothing you need to say. What is it? Just a few minutes of your time, let me show you inside. I'll be with you. Thank you, sir.
So, I don't know. You go up and get Sonia to come down and eat. Oh, she hasn't come out all day. And that doesn't mean she shouldn't come down to eat all because I stopped her from going to a mysterious party. Let her starve herself because of one silly party now. Oh. Mm. Uh, Daddy, she said she's having a headache and she wants to rest. Oh my God. My angel is having a headache and the two of you will not tell me? Hmm? Daddy, I wasn't aware of any headache. Okay. I'm going to check on her myself. Uh -huh. Daddy, don't worry. Let me check her. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. She's my daughter, not yours. Oh. Papa, baby. Oh. Come on, baby. I didn't know you had a dick. Hmm? Come on, wake up now and talk to that, yeah? Don't be angry. Okay, you see what? I promise to take you to the TV party next week. Okay? See me? See me. She was sleeping inside. I don't, I don't know where she is. Daddy, I don't know anything about this. Way. The two of you were in the room all evening. You can't tell me that you are not aware of where she left. Hello? Simi? Simi, where are you? I'm sorry. No, no, no. Don't just tell me you are sorry. Just come back with my 2,000 naira. Or else. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. He has my money. So, me. where are you? I'm standing in my room. Where exactly in my two are you? My two? Okay. Hey. Toby, get my car keys. Let's go there. I'm coming with you. No, no, no. You stay. You stay at home. Uh, Toby! Hurry up! Toby, hurry up! Daddy, she will stand. The two of you had better stay there until I come back. You don't know anything. Toby, hurry up! Two of you, eh? Two, just be praying. I'm asking you, are you? No, 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 Must not exceed 2:30 p.m. As for you, Eniela, for aiding and abetting her, you will not receive one cover from your mother and I for one month. Two months is better. Two. <laughs> yes, two months. Now you can all go back to bed. Go. Ah, go, go back. Okay. Ah, what about my two thousand naira? I need it to balance accounts now. Um, darling. I'm strongly beginning to think that Toby is not normal. What do you mean by my son is not normal? You are a man, so you should know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, okay. At his age, Toby should have a girlfriend. 
He's perfectly fine. Leave him alone. What do you mean he's perfectly fine? A man running around the kitchen all the time and not attracted to the opposite sex? Let me tell you for the final time. Toby, he's fine. He's okay. He's just taking his time and he's being careful. I mean, these are the days of AIDS and other sexually transmitted diseases. But can't he protect himself? What are you up to? Want to encourage him to fornicate? Mm -mm, no, that's not it. I just want to know if he's okay. That's all. And how do you plan to do that? I will have to find him a girlfriend. What? Mom, I made a list of what we didn't have in the house. I was wondering if you get it from your way back from the shop. Toby, when are you going to start telling me to buy things for your girlfriend? Um, um girlfriend? Uh, what girlfriend? You see? You can't continue like this, Toby. Talking about seasoning, pepper, and what have you I done? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the fact that you cook for the house. Yes. But you are a man. You need a woman to be. Mom, I will definitely get a woman when I, I leave this house. I need to see the sign now before you leave the house. It is not normal. No, Mom, I'm not ready for this. Now. I am your mother, Toby. And I am ready for it now. Go get yourself a girlfriend or you stop entering my kitchen. Period. <laughs> They've gone to work this morning. Eh, uh, okay, no problem, no problem. Actually, I'm also on my way to the shop. Okay. I just said, let me come and say hello. So, how is everything generally? I'm fine, ma. <laughs> Amanda, Amanda. <laughs> eh, Amanda, yeah? eh, please, um, eh, don't say I'm being too forward. Eh, eh, can I ask you a question? Sure, why not? Oh, oh she, thank you. Eh, eh, Amanda. Uh, do you have a boyfriend? A boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Why? No, I, I just feel a girl of your age should have a boyfriend. That's all. I don't see it as a problem. Really? Oh, see, I fire Eniola every day that she must have a boyfriend. It's not normal. I will when the time comes. Ah, no, you're approaching it the wrong way. You don't have to wait for the time to come. You just have to create the time. Benny, that is what it is. Ah, Umash. Um, anyway, um, Amanda, um, can you do me a favor? What favor, ma? Thank you. You see to be my son. Ah! Very handsome boy. Good manners, nice attitudes, but... He needs a girlfriend. I don't get you, ma. Good. You don't have a boyfriend. And Toby doesn't have a girlfriend. Can't you see that? It's not normal. So how am I supposed to help you, ma? Oshie, Warike. Thank you. I want you to get close to Toby. Yes. Move close to him, eh? That boy likes you a lot. Yes. In fact, that is an understatement. He is madly in love with you, but he does not know how to tell you. How do you know all of this, man? He told me himself. He confided in me. I'm his mother now. He told me. So I want you to move close to him. Please. It's a fever. 
Joe. I'm sorry, ma. I can't. If he likes me, he has to talk to me himself. Are you on a software? He can't tell you. He can't. Please, please, do it for me, Amanda. I'm sorry, ma. I can't. I forgot something. In our room? I know, something I really wanted to tell you. Mm. What is it? Enola, how soon can you get me a girlfriend for your brother, Toby? Did he ask for one? Or you just want the girl to be assisting him in the kitchen? No, Enola. I think your brother is a celebrate. And I want to confirm if he is normal. There are rose girls everywhere now. I can arrange for one sharply if you wish. I don't wish Ron's girl for to be. I want somebody to love him and make him fall in love. I mean, that one is hard though. Even me, I've been trying to get a boyfriend and it's very difficult. It's really hard these days. What is hard these days? Oh, tell me. Go away. When I was your age, I had five to six boyfriends on my list at the same time. Your father was not near my consideration then. What are you talking about? Mommy, that was then, not now. Okay, Enola, I want you to get him a girlfriend as soon as possible. I'll pay you if you do it. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, how much? I will give you 20,000 if you make it happen. 20,000? Mm-hmm. Can I have advance? I'll give it to you when I come back. Hey, mommy, you give it to me. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's a deal. Sealed. I will get the girlfriend. I trust you. I'll see you in a lot. It's a matter of urgency. <laughs> Did mommy discuss anything with you this morning? Like what? Did she talk to you about anything? Anything at all? Uh, any. It's my... It's personal. <laughs> What's personal about you having a girlfriend? Oh! She already broadcasted to your department. Hey, mommy! I mean, I'm just a concerned citizen here. Well, you don't have to be. Like I said, it's my personal life and mommy's just being funny. Truly, it's your personal life, oh. For me, I don't care if you have a girlfriend or not. But you can't stop me from making my 20k from this deal. What deal? Like really, this seemed like a joke to me. I'm not joking, no. She offered to pay me 20k if I could arrange a girl for you. And who told you guys I can't get myself a girlfriend if I so desire? Do I care about that? What do you care about? 20k, of course. So? All I need now is your cooperation. How? It's in two ways. One, I get a girl for you and it's will be at out love and romantic sense for mommy to see. Okay, what's the other way? We lie to her. Since she's not always around, we lie to her that you're in love with a name girl. And we collect money for gifts and taking the girl out. That's a nice plan. I know. Let's do it. But I'm not interested. Let's Toby. When you're done. Toby, if I lose this 20k because of you, you'll be sorry for what I'll do to you in this house. Yes, Mr. See me? How are you? Fine. How is this? Fine. I want to ask you a question, sir. About what? About your brother, Toby. What do you do? Has he talked about me before? I don't understand. You know you're close to Toby. So I want you to help me find out what he thinks and feels about me. Okay. I'm gonna ask. Come, come, come. No, now. You have to stylishly ask him. Can you do that? Yes, I can. And make sure you don't say anything about what we discussed. Okay, I promise I will. Uh, sure. Yes. What if mom 
find out we are deceiving her. Not when you play your parts well. It's, and you know I'm not good at acting at all. That's why you should trust me. Okay, so where do we go from here? Okay, I'll collect 5,000 advance payment from mommy when she returns. And I'll tell her I've arranged a girl for you to meet. Hey, but you will not arrange any girl though. I won't now, but you should be giving mommy fake testimonies of your newfound love. Okay, so what about the money? Hey, we split it. It's a good deal. Food is in the kitchen. That's why I'm here. I have good news for you. Really? What is it? Amanda is deeply in love with you. Amanda? How do you know that? She told me now that she's deeply in love with you, but she doesn't know how to tell you, so she said I should help her to tell you. Eh. Uh, Alright, uh, I've heard. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Please, love her back now, please. to give you the progress report. Is it on the assignment I gave you? Yes, mom. Okay? Let's hear it. Her name is Sandra. She's 22 years. She's a fresh graduate. Mm -hmm. She's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Tall. Mm. It's enough, it's enough, it's enough. I think I, I, I'm okay with the description you have given. You mean she's... Hey, come. Uh, have you told your brother about it? They've been talking on the phone since morning. Iron. A meeting date has already been fixed. So soon? So soon. Hey! This is beautiful. Yes, ma'am. Hey. Hey. hey, mommy. That's why I've come to collect my advance payment. Ah, of course. Ah, be sure you will definitely have your advance. Yeah! You mean? Jesus. Hey! Enola, I'm happy. Hey, just give me few seconds. Let me balance my accounts. I will give you your balance. Why this long face? I will give you. Uh -uh. Shabba, I give you my word. Hmm? Don't worry, I will give you. Eh? Let me quickly balance. Start counting. Seconds, I mean. Start counting. Hey! And you you have really done a great job. See? You're for school already? Yes, I am. So, have you found out anything? I found out a lot. Why don't I just come back from school for I come and tell you? Really? Tell me, I'll give you some stick to school. Toby is deeply in love with you. I hope you're not seeing me. How did you find out? Each time I mentioned your name, he smells. And we talked about you all through the night. So what did you talk about me? How he wishes you're in love with him and so many other nice things. That's so sweet to hear. So did he say he was going to ask me out or something? Wait, he's going to ask him. Oh, wait. I said find out stylishly. Okay, you. Very, very interesting. Uh, so, do you like her? Yeah, Mom, I have to see her first before I make my final judgments. Oh, okay, so when is she coming? Well, we decided to meet somewhere first, since she said she can't come to my house on the first date. Really? Yes. You see now? Wow, that means she must be from a very good home. Ah, I am beginning to like her even before seeing her. That's great. Uh, so, where did you both agree to meet? Babbage. Babbage? Why? Why not the cinema or one of the eateries? Mom, I don't have that kind of money. Oh, come on, Toby. All you need to do is ask and it shall be given to you. He, I am so happy. Wow. Please uh, go to the eatery, okay? Uh, From there, you move to the cinema. Yeah, I thought you said it was 50 50. And I'm your elder sister. Hope you're not forgetting that. Hey, there's no aging business. Listen, Toby. 
mommy gave you 4k for taking the girl out, and I have 5k advance. You have a chance of making more money. How? Good. By proceeding to stage two. Which is? No, 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 no. Ah, uh -uh, Enola. How can you be asking me for balance when I have not seen my supposed daughter-in-law? Uh -uh. But mommy, Toby is in love now. Can't you see it in his eyes? In love with who? A ghost? I said I want to see the girl he is in love with. Mom, you see her. She's coming here tomorrow. That's exactly what I want to hear. Good. Oh, that means we are going to enjoy every bit of it tomorrow. We have to start preparing for her. Thank God your father has traveled. Then we're going to prepare a dinner to welcome her. Oh, this is great. Yeah, we should. Hey, come. We have to start the preparation oh. tomorrow. Okay, so what are we going to cook for her? Yeah, Mom, I'll take care of it. Just give me the money. All right. I will make sure I get you the money as soon as I get upstairs, okay? Good. Toby, what in God's name are you up to? Enough of all those games. You'll get your 15k balance when she comes tomorrow. Who is coming? Oh, you already think I don't have a girlfriend, right? Wonderful. So you have a girlfriend and you've been hiding her? Well, I'm waiting for the right time to introduce her to the family. Who is she? Wait and see tomorrow. Amanda. Yes, ma'am. Toby, is she the one? Yes, ma'am. She is the one. No, it's a lie. <laughs> Somebody tell me it's a lie. Mommy, why now? I thought you said Toby was in love with me, didn't you? And Timmy told me Amanda was in love with me, too. <laughs> um, um, so, who have you been taking to the cinema and the beach with the money you collected from me? Mom, that is inconsequential for now. You wanted a girlfriend for me? Here she is. Enola, I am closing my eyes now. Before I open them, I want you to return the 5,000 advance you collected for me for this assignment. Uh, but mommy, you can see the assignment standing before you now. What? You mean I paid you 5,000 which I have not even been able to balance in my account for Toby to date Amanda, our next door neighbor. Hey, okay, mommy, please, uh, you see, 
Use the 15,000 naira balance you're supposed to pay me to balance your account. The first one has gone into voicemail, mommy. Voicemail? I will show you the real meaning of voicemail. Like, like, mommy! 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 Well, have you bothered to look at the level of legitimacy? Uh, well, Mr. Benjamin, you know that aside from being a lawyer, I'm also a very shrewd businessman. But my wife has the details. Well, Mr. Benjamin, this is a purely legitimate deal. Mm. My younger brother is an insider, so you have nothing to worry about. Mm. Okay, so how many cars are up for the auction? Well, according to my younger brother, who is also a very close friend to to the senior custom officer, says six Morano Jeeps. And uh, four Saloon uh, Toyota Camry 2009 model and others. And you say the Jeeps are going for 400,000 naira each? Even the Saloon cars are going for as low as 300,000 naira. Wow, this is a great, wonderful deal. No, this is an opportunity we all have to grab. In fact, eh, my wife and I have already uh, raised money for the six chips. We just want you to come in so that we can clear the time. Oh, okay. Let me discuss with my wife. I will get back to you this evening. No problem. Mm. But, but you know, time is of the essence. Mm. Please, let us be here while the sun shines. Oh, yes, we shall. Mm. Uh, yes. We shall. <laughs> Yes, I was coming to your shop. Uh, to do what? Um, uh, look, I'm in a hurry, Eniola. Something very urgent brought me from the shop. I hope your father is inside. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, mommy, wait, wait, wait. Um, a friend of mine just told me that there's a London used boat for, for 25k. Boat for? What is boat for again? Is that another latest cosmetics? No, no, mommy. It's a phone, a Blackberry phone. The model is called boat for. And it's just for 25k. Okay, I see. Hmm. Now, Enola, you will go and tell that friend of yours that you are not as bold as 25k. Well, I have an important business to discuss with your father. Ah, ah, mommy, wait now. The original one is sold for 75k. As a matter of fact, tell her that you cannot even afford bold zero. Ah. <laughs> I was hoping to discuss um, this lucrative business proposal with you when you come back from the shop. Uh, lucrative, okay. Since when did you start getting involved in business? Uh, let's discuss what you brought back first and then we'll talk about my... Good. Do you know Mrs. Oche? Mm, I think I do. Anyway, that does not really matter. She has just returned from China. Mrs. Oche? When did she go to China? That does not really matter too. Okay, so what matters then? You know I'm actually having faith in this business simply because it came through your younger brother. I know. But you also know Chidi will never get us involved in any shady deal. But it looks too good to be true. And the Jeep he drives was bought through the same medium. Well, that's actually the only reason why I am contemplating seriously investing in it. Mommy, we will make good money from this. Good money. Reselling those jeeps at 1.2 million, it's like an oil windfall. Well, I also think it is an opportunity for me to change my car to a Morano jeep. You will do no such thing. What do you mean I will do no such thing? Could you have bought me a Morano jeep from a car shop? 
No, no, listen. We will resell those jeeps and maintain a low profile. Why are we going to maintain a low profile? Did we steal anything? Please. Amanda is getting my car while I take one of the jeeps. That will not happen in this house. You will keep driving your saloon or we cancel this deal. Cancel what deal? What deal? Okay, so what you're saying is that your friend, Mrs. Oche, who went to China, brought back a whole range of cosmetic products. Yes, and because she's in a rush to go back and bring in more products, she has offered them to me at giveaway prices. <laughs> hmm. What a day. What do you mean by what a day? Oh, nothing. nothing. You have to say something. This offer is specially saved for me. Ah. Well, okay, in essence, what are you trying to say? Good. I need 450,000 Naira to buy them. She's in a hurry to go back. 450,000 Naira? Yes, Feiyi. I know you have it, so don't even scream. Mm. Oh, okay. Let me quickly tell you about my own deal, and then we'll decide which one to do, okay? Mm. Okay, let's hear it. Did Amanda tell you she needs a car? Does she need to tell me she needs a car? At her age, I was already driving a car. But for you by me, not your father or your mother. What difference does it make? Tell me, lawyer, what difference? The difference is that my daughter will have her car bought by herself or for her by her husband. Which husband? Did you give her a husband? But that's your prerogative as a good mother. Not buying her a car that will make her too comfortable to be desired by men. What kind of back of law are you proving? Eh? Was it my mother that gave me to you? Listen, this topic is of no relevance to me. I've made up my mind and that's how it stays. What do you think you're going to? You think you can turn this house into your law court and then leave? No, you're not going. We're going to change that decision here and now. and six model jeep for sale for 300,000 naira in this country? Yes, ah. I believe it. Even if it were to be stolen, my dear, nobody will sell a complete motor with four tires for that kind of amount. <laughs> lie, lie. You don't understand this kind of business. See, ah. it's supposed to be an auction by a top customs officer. Okay, let me can hear what? When did Mrs. Uzo become a custom officer? I thought you said she's an accountant. Calm down and let me explain to you. Listen. I can't calm down, Feyi. I can't calm down as soon as you have told me that a car of that nature is to be sold for 300,000 naira. <laughs> Even ordinary car without engine, only body, it cannot go for that amount. What are you telling me? <laughs> Dupe, Uzo is a lawyer. His wife is an accountant. Mm. They are not going to lead us into a business that will fail. And who are the they and us? I hope you are not thinking that I'm going to join you in this for the Christmas uh, offer. Like, like, Ojo. You know, it's 100% money back guaranteed. It can't fail. It's a win-win situation. Mm. So, if we pay and the car or the cars are not delivered, they will return our money back. Eh? 100 percent. What, what I want you to make me understand is. Why can't Amanda get my car while I get one of the jeeps? For God's sake, I am her father and I can give you reasons why she cannot have a car now. Interesting. Tell me. Listen, Amanda has come of age and the two most important things she needs in her life now are one, a job, and secondly, a husband. And you think owning a car will stop her from getting all this? But you know men of nowadays, they are easily cowed and intimidated by women who show independence and them some green affluence. 
Those are lily livered men. And any man that oh, thinks that, oh, any man that. Calm down, for God's sake. Listen. Amanda driving a car now will definitely alienate her from men with honest and serious intentions. <laughs> My dear, you have not been able to convince me as a lawyer my husband and my daughter's father why Amanda should not get my car while I take one of the jeeps you get a jeep Amanda gets no car that's how far I'm willing to go <sighs> <For me. laughs> it's your lawyer eh? Okay, okay, okay. I agree. So that it doesn't look as if I'm trying to be obstinate. Try and call your phone and let's put the on the wolf. Now it's clear that God is about to turn things around for us. Oh yes, for sure. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> we are going to use one stone to kill two birds. Mm, and I will say that we should kill them one by one. How? Let us do the businesses one after the other. Ah, that is good. That is okay. So, when do I tell Mrs. Oche to come and collect her money so that I can have the goods and start distributing? <laughs> I just said let us do the businesses one by one. Eh, that is exactly what I'm doing now. No, what you just said is that you give me the money to give to Mrs. Oche so that you can collect the goods. And yes, Feyi, you know, so that... I, I, I will get the goods, sell them, you know, balance my account, then withdraw the money, give the money to you, then you proceed to to, to the Uzo's no, business. No, 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 no. We put money into the Uzo's business and then I can give you money later so that you can pass. No, 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 no. I, no, no, I, I won't take that. Uh -uh. Is it now that my business is about to skyrocket? Skyrocket that, to where? Skyrocket to heaven if you care to know. Dubai, it doesn't work that way. See, we will put available money in the car business, make some profit, and then I can give you money with which you can go to Mrs. Oche. I'm no, not lie, Kojo. It's a lie. I said it's a lie. Ah, what are you talking about? Mm. It's my money after all, mm. and I can decide to put my money in any business. I can invest in anything that I want. Not when you and I said I do for better, for worse. Mm. Look, whatever you have belongs to both of us. You and I. Mm. Mm. All right. All business proposals cancelled. Eh? Yes, no more Mrs. Uche, no Mrs. Uzo, nothing. Deals closed. Eh. I am going back to my shop because I don't trust that sales girl. But Professor Feyi Benjamin, if you want peace in this house, you will go to the bank and get that money for me before I come back. Or else! I have discussed with my wife. She she likes the idea. <laughs> Every right thinking human being would love the idea. No. Not even like. So we're in business? Oh yes, we're in business. Oh. But, but, uh, you see, we don't have liquid cash, so we need some time to convert some of How long would it take you people to convert assets to cash? That's what I want to know. I mean, how, long, how much time do we have? Mr. Mr. Benjamin, we do not have time. This is an auction, and there are other bidders. And, and if not for my brother-in-law, the custom officer would have given these vehicles to those other bidders. Mr. Benjamin, hmm? we have 48 hours to lose or win. That is all the time we have. A colleague of mine is interested, but, but then I will not um, deprive you of such an opportunity. Ah, thank you very much. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. 48 hours, you said? 48 yes. hours. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mm. Dad, I think I'll prefer you go for the cars first. Yeah, but your mom is hell-bent on buying her goods first. How much does mom require for her own goods? She says about 450,000 naira. And the deal with the users requires about um, a million two hundred forty-four cars. That's true, yes. 
Why don't you do it this way? Why don't you buy at least two cars from the users and give mom the balance? If I had that kind of cash, I would be consulting with you to speak to your mom to calm down. So how do you intend to go about it now? Well, I have about 800,000 Naira. I can get an overdraft or I can go around, complete the money, put it on the cars, but your mom's deal will wait. So you want me to talk to mommy to be patient? Yeah, that the auction doesn't come every day. That it's a lifetime opportunity. Oh, I, I, I can do that. I'll do that. Um, just give me 2K to get to work. 2K for what? I need to go and see mommy at her shop now and I'll take a cab. But that's just 600 Naira. So I'm going to do all this liaison officer's job for free? Don't tell me you want me to pay you to talk to your mother. Okay, just give me one five then. I'll give you one thousand right. That is one to last. Enola, these goods are being sold to me at factory price. You can imagine what I stand to gain if I sell them at retail price. Mommy, from what daddy told me, these cars are being sold at below factory price and it could resell at below manufacturer's price. And you believe cars are sold like that in this country? Uh. I don't. I almost do not believe the, the price at which your own goods will be sold to you too. Mm -hmm. But it's because I'm hearing it from you. Car deals are just a waste of time. Yes. They will return your money at the end of the day after using it for something else. And make me lose the offer. So what do you suggest I do? Good. Good question. You will go back to your dad and talk him out of the car deal that it should put the money into mine. How do I do that? Uh -uh. The same way you came here to tell me now. Uh. Hmm. So what's in for me if my efforts pays off? I will say thank you. Just that. Uh, uh. What else do you want? Oh, oh, you want me to pay you commission, Abby? Ah, Eniola, then tomorrow you will come back and start begging for money from me, eh? Kojo? Mommy, see, this is a deal. I can confidently tell you that I will convince Daddy to forget about the car auction deal and invest in yours. And how sure are you? Trust me. Sure? Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, oh, Madam Eniola Benjamin, what do you want? I get 10% of the total amounts Daddy gives to you. And 5% upfront. Mommy, see, don't think about this. It's a deal. A real business deal. serious honestly i don't think you are because same thing you said yesterday oh and um, and um, please you see i had a serious discussion with my husband yesterday and he has assured me that the money will be ready mrs is... benjamin I, I am emptying my warehouse this weekend so the goods are like a gift to you. I know. Honestly, I do. See, if you were very observant, you would have noticed my daughter going out when you were coming in. She actually came to tell me that my husband has already gone to the bank. Honestly. My goods are coming from China this weekend. And I need to empty that warehouse. So when do I expect you? Um, let's see. Okay. If not this evening, I promise you, first thing tomorrow morning, you will get the money. Honestly. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I know I can trust you, my friend. <laughs> See, what do I find? 
Agency, So what is it? She has agreed to one business deal. Yeah, which business deal? Mine with the users or hers with the OJ? Which one? Pastor, why is mom crying with daddy? I don't really know, but I think it has something to do with a deal they need to secure. A deal? What kind of deal? A business deal. Or is it that mom could not balance her account again? Ah, to me this is more than balancing account, so I don't think it has anything to do with that. Okay, well, so what are we doing with the party? Noodles. Noodles? How can we use platin to eat noodles? Ah, see, you need to try it, it's very tasty. No, I'm not trying it though. I cannot use platin to eat noodles. See, me? is there anything wrong with you? Are you here to start your own quarrel too? Mommy is not wrong. Mommy is wrong. Mommy is right. Is she the one that has the money? It is her husband's money. And shouldn't she follow through with her husband's suggestion? Not where more money can come from mommy's suggestion. Wait, come to think of it. Why are the woosos not buying the whole cars? I wanted to drag that into this deal. Good neighbors, that's what they are. They see a good opportunity and it's going to spread it at the detriment of our family, right? Go and talk to mommy. She better let daddy go through the deal he has with the users. And you go talk to daddy to give mommy the money. And until this time, she would refund the money to him to go ahead with the users deal. I think we should let them be. They'll sort themselves out. After all, it doesn't matter why it matter. Mm. We've been ranting over this issue since 8 o'clock. Mm. Why don't we just sleep over it? If there is no sleeping over on this issue, we stay awake on it. Me? I'm tired of talking about it. I want to sleep over no, Sleep, sleep, okay. What is your problem? <laughs> you are not sleeping until you give me that money. I don't have any money. And look, Dupe, you have to be careful. I'm the head of this family. And I will tell you what is obtainable. Then you will not sleep. And there will not be peace in this house. Say you are the head. I am the neck of this family. And there is no resting place for the head without the neck. My dear, you know that the children are asleep now. Hmm? And the neighbors are also asleep. Mm. You know we can talk about this thing tomorrow. They don't mad be me more job. They can all stay awake for all I care. Hmm. Where do you think you are going? Anywhere. Oh, you think you're going to make me lose these goods, Abby? Look, <laughs> I don't have any other husband to go to. You must give me that money because you're my husband. And when have husbands become ATMs? Mm. Huh? Yeah, I don't know anything about ATM. All I know is that my husband must give me money to boost my business, period. I don't have any money. Come on, you won't sleep. You are not going anywhere, You will give me that money. You are not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere. What is your problem now? You are not going. You are not going.
I'm warning you. I'm warning you. I wasn't able to enter the kitchen this morning to prepare anything. Why is that? Uh, the kitchen is locked and mom dropped a note for me. Where is the note? Uh, it's inside. What does it say? Uh, that I shouldn't bother looking for the keys to the kitchen, that there's hunger strike in the house and until the dictator of the house hears the cry of the masses, that there's no food. I didn't quite get it. Dad, what exactly is going on? Get any other for me immediately. All right, Dad. Is it by locking the kitchen and taking the kid to the shop that will make Daddy give her the money? Please direct your question to the appropriate quarters. Are you not part of the appropriate quarters? You're taking sides with Mom. The book, if you don't know, know it today. That the way to a man's heart is food. So, the kitchen is the way to daddy's heart, right? You're just saying this probably because you're hoping to beg her for money. Makala, take your hungry self out of here to your lectures. You are just... Hey, is calling you. I hope you told him mommy loved the kitchen. Uh, yes, I just did. Your mates are in class. Go to school. Are your mates not in their offices this morning? Look, if you dare insult me because of kitchen and food, and what huh? are you going to do? Hey, 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 what is it? And they just told you that dad is waiting for you. Anyway. I need you to get dressed and take the money to your mother in the shop. Are you for real? What? Oh, sorry, Dad. I meant if you were serious. Why would you ask me such a question? Anyways, go get dressed and take the money to her. All right, Dad. You need to make it clear to her that she must remit the money according to her promises. Otherwise, it will be my turn to lock up the entire house. The entire house? You are wasting my time. Sorry, Dad.
Please hold on, Mr. Benjamin, please. Is anything the matter? Uh, so, sorry for that uh, uh, interruption. Uh, my wife is making me realize now that uh, it's not necessary for you to make an advance payment of it. But why? Why? I have said that my wife... Sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Benjamin. Listen, the deal is still intact. But why we said you should hold on to the money is that we have already made advance payment for the cars. I don't get you. And what my wife is actually trying to say is that um, we have used our own money to pay for the vehicles. So your complete money will now uh, cement the deal. Oh. Okay. But you have to come up with the balance by tomorrow. Else, we'll source for alternatives. Mm. We're really very sorry, but, but um, I hope you understand what she's saying. <sighs> Afeyi, don't worry now. Everything will soon be okay as soon as I balance my account. Mm, as soon as you balance your account? Well, I'm the one losing out on the card deal. Ah, uh, you are not going to lose out. Trust me. See, I got the goods from Mrs. Oche as soon as Eniola brought the money. Mm, well, thank God you have met your quest. It is me that is losing. You are not losing out, my dear. No. See, only today, eh? I distributed four cartons at wholesale price and I raked in 80,000 naira. Before day after tomorrow, I should be able to balance my account and give you the money. And Do you the go. mathematics yourself. 80,000 times two or even three days will not come near it. So let's just forget it. I mean, you've been stubborn, well, and you got your way. It's all right. Feiji, why are you thinking like this now? Shebi is for the good of the house. I'm happy now. I'm sorry now. Sorry, eh? Oh, yeah. She, you will give me my goodnight kiss now. No. no. Uh -uh. I can give you more than a goodnight kiss if you collect that money back from me. No, you can't tell me that. Ah, uh, it's my right now. Come on, give me my goodnight kiss. Don't be, don't be, I'm not ready. The shop is locked. No one is there. It's unfortunate, you know. I've been calling her myself and she's not picking up. Well, I, you will have to exercise some patience. Patience? I don't have patience when money is involved. Oh. That's why I'm here. I'm getting my 15,000 Naira and I'll get it today. Well, I don't really know what else to say. There's nothing really else you have to say as I get in my money. Well, um, you just have to be patient. Let, let me get in touch with my wife. I'll be back. And if I don't get my money, I'll sleep with you. What? Sleep with who? I mean I'll sleep in this house till I get my money. Hello? Yes? Mrs. Zuzo speaking. What? Area F? What? When? How? Why? Okay. I'm on my way. Who's that? What is it? Talk to me. My brother has been picked up by the SSS. SSS? Why? Stubbornness got you? Dad, let's think of a way out. A way out? When she was looking for a way in, did I not want her? Hmm? And what had you done? You made me lose money and I lost a fantastic business opportunity with the users. In telling, I'm so sorry. Now. Don't even say the word sorry to me. I give you one day. Go look for this Mrs. Oche and get the money back. 
Otherwise, I will lock you out of this house just like you locked the. Uh, 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 As I'm talking to you now, I can't open my shop because of the fake product she sold to me. Ah, madam, please try and understand. I will not understand anything. My customer, they're planning to arrest me. Arrest you for what now? Hey, get who bought the cream? Overnight, her face turned to a den of eczema. Hey. Another who bought the perfume? Complained that after wearing the perfume, the original scent faded up to the a smell of a he goat. Ah. Hey. Hey, please, my sister. I am still looking for Mrs. Oche who sold the product to me. I've not been able to see her. See, as I'm even talking to you, three of my customers have even returned their own cattle. Madam, I don't understand all what you're talking about. Huh. My customer, they are planning to report me to NAVDAC. Yeah. And also discover that the, uh, the product have no NAVDAC number. <laughs> I want all my money. If not, this place will turn to my home. I'm very sorry, but um, you see, my wife's business took a wrong dive. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to meet up with the car deal again. I'm really sorry. You don't have to apologize. You don't have to. Okay. Oh dear, <laughs> the car deal is off and we're the big losers right now. Thank God you couldn't meet up. Off? How? I mean, what happened? Number, my brother-in-law and the customs officer are being detained at this moment by security agents for illegal sales of custom seized properties. Right. Oh, Jesus. And here we were thinking the sales was authorized uh, by the customs authorities. At wow. least we know better. Darling, I'm really very sorry. I should have exercised some precaution. Oh, we all should be sorry. And we need to take more precaution about businesses that look too good to be true. Because they are never true. Absolutely. Never. <sighs> um, can I have my good night kiss now? Oh, sure. Why you balance your account? So where do you guys feel this plan is going to work? Now today, it will work. And your life, it will work because it has been tested. By the two of you? Um, no, someone very close to us. Look, just follow the agenda and you see results. I hope this thing doesn't backfire. Not when we take it fire for fire. And more importantly, sincerity and honesty are the key to this plan. In the absence of these two elements, I'm afraid it may backfire. Does it mean you girls don't trust me or what? It's just an advice. So when do we start it? As soon as now. How? If you are sure you're ready to play your part now, then we'll set our mercenaries in motion. I am so ready to play my part. Very good. Take five. Good afternoon, sir. Ah, good day. My Hello. name is Felix Isichu. I work with Winners Travel at Tor Limited. Yes. 
Please, I would like to see Miss Eniola Benjamin. Is there a problem? Not at all, sir. I have a letter for her. Um, yeah, she's my daughter. Oh, congratulations, sir. She just won in the green card lottery. Are you kidding me? No, sir. Please, please sign on her behalf. Yeah. Please tell her to come to my agency office tomorrow. What for? We helped her in processing the application, and she will need our guidance in traveling to the States. I see. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Congratulations once more, sir. You have a very lucky daughter. Join me shouting, wow, to the glory of God. I hate your base. I'm not going to join you to shout any wow. Are you the first person to win the American Green Card Lottery? As stingy as mommy could be. She has just ordered for two chickens to be slaughtered in celebration. Fine. My... What else do you expect me to slaughter for you? A cow? Wow. I'm so disappointed in you, Bukola. I've already compiled a list of those I'll be inviting to America when I eventually get there. And I'm so sorry to inform you that your name is now being. Cancelled. <laughs> oh my god. No, it's not crying now. My name is being cancelled from the book of life. <laughs> Green card that through my foot. Wow. Some people can be so jealous. Simi, so it's true your sister won the green card, not you? Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. That's nice. It is, oh. My mom even bought two chickens just to celebrate it. It's worth celebrating, oh. You know. Look, I've been trying this lottery for the past six years now. I've not been anywhere close to it. Damn, you have to be close to my sister if you want to travel to America now. How? She has a list and I'm number one on the list. What list? <laughs> Great. Mm, I can see. I hope this chicken are dry enough for my consumption. The taste of the pudding is in the eating. That's correct. Mm. Mm. This Should tastes cool. Oh, you see, your cooking talent will make you be the first person I'll move to America. Really? And what are you feeling like? The American ambassador. So you think you're just breezing into the kitchen and start eating chicken? Don't forget this chicken was slaughtered for my sake. Who cares? Do you think I care? I no longer care in taking you to America. Oh my god, you pissed me off. Bukola, tell me where you're distancing yourself from America. I guess you need to go. I feel you need to have. you're doing well. I tell you, 
is what celebrated. Please, um, Toby, go ahead with the remaining serving. Now, I am so Thank happy you. today. We are going to give three happy cheers to the lucky girl. Mm? Are we all ready? Okay. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! But dad, you just did. Huh? Mm. I know it's a thing of joy, but I have reservations. Fee, mm. you don't need to open any reservoir to reserve any reservations. What kind of English is that? <laughs> Relax. What I'm saying is that. Enola has won the green card lottery and nobody reserved the rights to stop her from going. You think so? Hey, hey, Professor Feiyi Benjamin, don't start the third world war in this house. See, the American ambassador cannot stop her. Not even the American president. She has won this green card lottery and America, she must go. I see. You are not only seeing, you are hearing also. Look, she is going there and she's going to marry a white man and give back to Afghans for me. See, don't annoy me tonight. None of my daughters is going to marry a white man. Oh, you're joking. You are joking, Feyi. She is going there, she's going to marry a white man and give back to white children when she gets to America. I will disown her. If you disown her, I will divorce you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, you go first. Go first, Shefi Wallace. Go first. America, my brother, America, you marry you. Enola, I discussed with your daddy last night, and I've decided to warn you to arm yourself as you are going to America with this lottery. Okay, mom. Good. As soon as you step into America, you will do two things for me, your mother. What are they, mom? One, you will look for a white man, and two, you will get pregnant for that white man. Oh yes, the white man must be an American. No? Uh -huh. hey, but mommy, um, what if he's a Chinese living in America? Hey, Kelly, I'm warning you, Eniola. Don't try me, Chagini. I don't want to kumba or counterfeit grandchildren. No, lie, lie. Ah. Yes, mom. Uba Buda. Have yes, you heard? Yes, ma'am. Good. Don't disappoint me. I have to go to the shop now. I will see you when I return. Eh, um, but mommy. <laughs> what? Um, anything for me? Hey! In your la. You know this is very early in the morning. I have not made any sales. Talk less of balancing my accounts. Well. I'll find something for you because you are a very lucky girl. Oh, that's my mama. Mom, see, you're the first on my list. Hmm. I'm going to make you wow. <laughs> All right, let me find you something. <laughs> yeah. So far, so good. This stage has been okay. No more skepticism, right? No kicking, no time. Let's forget all the interrogation and move on to the next stage. Boma, we have to make sure there are no loopholes. Kiki Boma is right. Let's move to the next stage. But wait, what's the next stage? The money making stage. Yes. The next stage is the income generating stage. And it is slash stage three, which is the income disbursement stage. Okay. Every information you need to get through stage two is in there, as well as stage three. What about stage four? Let's be through with two and three now. Mm, okay. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. Anyway, let me see you. Just like that. No refreshments. <laughs>
Also, it's been a while. What's happening? School work, I guess. Mm, that's true. So how are you doing? I'm okay. Oh, I can see you're enjoying yourself with the remnants from my green card lottery celebration. Hmm. Huh? Green card lottery celebration? American or Canadian visa? Mm, ask Buki to clear your doubts. I have to go upstairs and freshen up. I have an important meeting to catch up with. See you later. So she's the first person to win the so-called green card lottery. Well, it's worth celebrating. At least you should have told me in school. It's not worth it. Who told you that? An American green card? You must be kidding me. The car needs to be butchered for this. Not when the person is an ingrate, self-centered and... It's your sister we are talking about. Oh, if she truly is my sister, then she should have told me to apply when she was applying. Do you know the green card makes provision for five family members? Comprising yes. father, mother and a kid. And I guess not the other way around. Well, Nelson, you came home with me so I could explain to you the concept of international jurisprudence. Are you still interested or you prefer we talk about the green card lottery? I think the green card lottery is more important. How did she win it? Sister. That's alright. It's okay. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going to the agency to see the guys that are processing. That's true. They said that she come with some personal files like my certificates mm. and and thirty thousand euro. Thirty thousand? What? What for? Acceptance fee. Acceptance fee? What are you accepting? You just have to convince your dad. Kiki, did you just say just? She must. How will I do it? I want you to realize that we have spent money on this thing. 10,000 naira is what we've invested so far on this. How? The man who delivered the letter was paid. Papers were paid for and here we are taking drinks. Okay, then I'll pay for the drinks. Pay for drinks? So what will happen to the money we've invested so far? And but that's Look, her. Eniola. You just have to convince your dad that the agency insisted on collecting the 30,000 naira for, for acceptance fee. Or else... Convince your papa. See, persuade your mom, see, because babes, this money must drop. Okay, I'll try. Look, I'm not telling you to try. You must do it. And you're like, no, you can't. You can do it. And yes, yes, you can do it. You can do it. Friends for your dad. Oh, that's good to know. So where's the acceptance letter? Daddy, these agency people, eh? They are so meticulous about everything. Imagine, they said they have to take the acceptance letter to the American Embassy for their endorsement. So, when are you getting it? Um, within 48 hours. They didn't give you any acknowledgement for paying 30,000 Naira? No, now they don't need to give me a receipt for that now. Uh, they collected all my information and opened a database for me in their system. Okay. So once you receive the letter, what next? Ah, Daddy, these people, they're so meticulous. Imagine, you said before I collect the letter, I, I, I have to pay another 25,000. 25 what? For what? Uh, isn't the lottery free anymore? It's free now, Dad. It's just that these are processing charges before I'm being given the green card. Oh, no. I don't understand this anymore. In fact, uh, I think I'll call my friend Tafik, who works in the Iraqi High Commission. Iraqi High Commission? Daddy, this is America we are talking about here now. What can someone from Iraqi High Commission do about it? Daddy, please, let's not start another war here. Oh. Mm. 
Well, I'm not trying to interfere in your lottery affair, but Daddy complained after giving you 30,000 Naira. He demanded for another 25, so... So he appointed you as the new EFCC chairman to prove me, right? Wrong. But I know that after winning the lottery, you're not supposed to pay for anything. Uh, yes, madam, I don't know. After winning the lottery, I'll just come into the room, pick up my handbag, straight to the airport, enter a plane to America. Abby? At least I'm aware that the only thing you're supposed to pay for is your flight ticket. So I'm... Can you just shut up and face your books? Do I question you when you collect money from daddy for non-existing handouts? This is not a query. It's... That is what? Bukola, face your books and stop being envious of my journey to America. I've heard. I've heard. Well, Amanda asked her for you. She wants to see you. She's outside waiting. What does she want to see me for? Oh, if I'd known you would ask me, I would have asked her. So ask her when you see her. I'm really happy you won the green card lottery. How sure are you? How sure am I? Of course I'm sure. Is it from the bottom of your heart? Why are you talking like this? Because I don't feel safe any longer. Especially when people come around me saying things like, I'm happy, congratulations, as regards my winning the green card lottery. Why would anyone feel that way? Mm. Mm, let's just forget about that. You said you wanted to see me for something. Yes, I was thinking if it's possible for you to introduce me to the agency that processed your lottery application. So that what can happen? Nothing. I just want to apply to them next day. Well, we are not in a hurry. I think I can put you on my list. Uh, Simi told me about that, but I don't think I'll be patient enough for you to invite me to the States. I'd rather go through them next year. But wait, I think you can get the green card lottery this year. Win the lottery this year. How? Is that all? Yes, that's all. As long as you're done with the ingredients, just allow it to boil for like 10-15 minutes. And your food is ready. Okay, but you allow me to cook it the next time you'll be cooking. Uh, well, not without my supervision. Okay. I'm suspecting that Nila wants to move someone's name from that list. Why is that? Like, I think I'm not interested. Why do you need suspicion? Amanda told me that Nila wants to help her to travel to America as she's leaving. Oh, really? So whose name do you think she wants to replace Amanda's with? Yes, ma'am. I hope you know I am doing this not because of you, but because of America. Ha. I thought it was because of me. Ah. It's okay, mom. Look at you. Oh, so you think if not for the American green card, I will be giving you this money just like that? No, ma'am. Oh, it's good you know. I'm glad you know. So how much did your father say I should give you? 25,000. Eh? 25,000? What is the money for again? For America now? Nah. Oh, sorry. For the endorsement of my acceptance letter at the embassy. Hey! Uh, 25, don't know. Anyway, I hope your daddy will know that I'm borrowing him this money and I'm collecting it back. Or else I won't be able to balance my account at the end of the week. Ah! 20, 25, don't know. Ah! Well, let me just take, take note to start with. Let me calculate it so that I will know if I'm not running into I'm not damning base in Jari. Ah, you think it's easy? Then we move logo. What is wrong with you? Daddy, mm -hmm. I think your mommy are not handling this in the last lottery thing the right way. How else could we have handled it? You gave her ten thousand naira just yesterday. And I've been checking mommy to give her another 25,000 naira. Yes, she needs it to obtain everything she requires to Dad, continue sorry with. To cut it short. I strongly suspect Enela is up to something. What do you mean? Are you saying that she didn't win the lottery after all? N no, no, no. Far from it. I know she won the lottery, but I just think she's spending more money than is required to see it through. Really? So, what are you suggesting? Daddy, I think we should go behind her and find out from the agency and even the embassy 
What the right requirements are? You know you are making sense. Okay, so I'm going to the agency. When I return, I'll give you further instructions. Why don't I follow you, at least to meet the guy in China? No, 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 Amanda. Do you want to get a visa to America? Why not? They follow my instructions. American things are not done anyhow. I'm just curious and wondering, how is it possible I get the green card this time, knowing the dress for this year is gold? Have you heard of the word connection? Connection? Yes, with connection, devil can see God, so be optimistic. That's true. Okay, I'm hoping to hear from you when you return. But just know one thing, oh. What's that? You'll spend money. <sighs> That's no problem. Let's just be sure of the process. Okay. Talk to you later. Then. Get the money set. Good day, Kiki and Bogna. Hi, how are you doing? Um, Buki, sorry to have disturbed whatever you were doing. Hope you're fine. I'm not sure that's what you two came to find out. Um, no, not exactly. We actually came to see you. We know we've not been best of friends. And not best of enemies too. So, why don't we save ourselves some time and get to the point? Okay. We are here because of Eniola. She's been crying and complaining since. Eniola? Crying and complaining? Over what? Over losing her chances of traveling to the States. Uh, how is that supposed to make her cry and complain? You guys are getting me confused. She asked us to talk to you. To help talk to your dad. You guys are just complicating issues for me. I don't get it. Talk to my dad about what? Concerning the green card lottery. Um, she said that your dad listens to you very well and that we should beg you to talk to your dad over pronouncing her traveling. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that Enela is crying and complaining my dad has refused to finance her travel plans. Is that it? Is exactly. That it? Yeah. And as a committee of friends, we don't want her to lose this lottery. You know it's valid for just one year. Mm -hmm. And if she doesn't make his of it... By my rough calculation, my dad and mom have given Enela over 50,000 to finance her travel plans already. 50 what? Wait, Buki, are you sure of what you just said? Am I sure? <laughs> I should be asking you too if you should have any last been crying and complaining over money. Not like this at all. I've been waiting for over an hour. Well, sorry. I went to see my dentist. I'm having toothache. Uh, same here. What do you mean, same here, Boma? How can the two of you be having toothache? Okay, we are here now. So, what is new? Mm, well, nothing yet. Meaning? Meaning, I suddenly realized that my dad is tight fisted with cash and my mom's hands are glued too. Meaning? Meaning, they refused to bulge. I have pressed and pressed. They just refused to give me any money. My dad said if it's for my flight ticket, then he can give me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they are willing to pay for your flight ticket, right? Um, uh, where exactly would you tell them you're flying to? Um, that's a big question. Eh, but I've been wanting to ask you too. Assuming they give me money for all these stories, how do I end the game? Mm -hmm. You simply tell them you feel the final interview at the U.S. Embassy in Abuja. How? That your luxury was rejected on the grounds that you falsified some information, like um, date of birth or something. Hmm. That's a nice one. Ah, but it's so unfortunate that it didn't work out at all. Mm. <sighs> See, let's just forget about it. We'll try something better next time. Okay. <sighs> mm. So... We are losers, right? So it is. Uh, well, I'm, I'm very sorry. I'll try something better next time.
You mean it's possible? Yeah, with testimonies. They have pictures of over 15 people whom bought the green card from others who could not afford the processing charges. So, who's on am I supposed to buy now? When we get to that river, you know the kind of water that flows in it. I don't get you right. I mean, once you make your payment, then they will provide you with details. And it will definitely be that of a female whose name you can now adopt. Hey, what about the picture? I mean, the passport the person used. We may not look alike. <laughs> it's like you've not traveled out of this country before. If 10 Chinese walk past you wearing the same clothes, can you differentiate them? But that's not what I'm saying. That is exactly how the white man sees the black. They can't tell Amanda from Eniola on the same spot. So make your money available and you'll see how it works. Okay, I trust your judgment. So how much do I make available? So who? How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good Sorry, um, Eniola doesn't seem to be at home. I haven't seen her actually since she left for the embassy early this morning. Um, actually, sir, we're not here to see Eniola. We're here to see you. Oh. Um, I'm sir. Sir, we are here to make a, a confession, sir. You came to confess to me? Yes, sir. So you're making 10k payment to me as your introducer slash the agency and an additional 70k to the original green card lottery winner. That's 80k. Exactly. <sighs> Sounds like a fair deal. No, no, no. It's a lovely deal. So when are you making it available? Give me a few minutes. Mm -hmm. So the two of you actually connived with Eniola to defraud me? And fool my family? I'm um, sir. I'm uh, sir. We are very, very sorry. We were led by the evil spirit, sir. Yes, sir. The Holy Spirit has directed us to come and confess to you and ask for forgiveness. Do you know the level of embarrassment this will cause my family? Um, hmm? Yes, sir. We know we have disgraced you and us, sir. Do you know the consequences of this scam? This, this blemish act? Hmm? No, sir. Please, forgive us, sir. Please, sir. Yes, sir. Please, Please. sir. I have forgiven you. <sighs> but the police will get to hear about this. I am giving you the last chance to confess to the family the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Then I'm telling the truth. It wasn't my idea. It was theirs. Eh? It was theirs? 419. Will you shut up your mouth or I'll smack you now? Don't you know she's your elder sister? I'm waiting. Daddy, that is the whole truth. Okay, okay, the only part I haven't mentioned is that, um, I, I, um... Say it! Dad, can I put it in writing? Are you deaf and dumb? Confess your sins! Dad, I'm going to slap this... Will you shut up and, and, and answer me? I, I collected 50,000 from Amanda this evening. And I promised to also help her, but it was all a lie. Enyola! So you're this talented. Faye, please forgive her. You know Jesus Christ said, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. Mom, please let's just leave Jesus Christ out of this for now. Because they knew exactly what they were doing. Honey, don't mind them. Don't listen to them. For they know not what they are saying. Please forgive her. It's the handwork of the government. What? What has government got to do with your daughter defrauding the entire family? Unemployment. 
If government provides job for its steamy graduates, and your lab will not be this criminally creative. You are lying. And we are wrong. Ah, and Yola has never wanted to work since she graduated. She never went out to look for any job. She didn't do anything. Now what has government got to do with that? I wonder, oh daddy. I just hope that someday someone will not blame the government for not putting salt in their food. Will the two of you shut up or I will send you out of this place? You will be punished for what you have done. Let me tell you, I have contacted the police and the police on its way here if very shortly, and they will take you away. Daddy, please now. Fiji. Well, you have a choice. Either you spend one week in the police cell, or you go to the village and spend one month helping your grandma with farm work. You have two minutes to decide starting now. <sighs> the police cell is better, Daddy. Uh, I support it. Yeah, I don't support too. But Fiji, you are going too far. Hey? One minute gone. Um, okay, I'll go to the village. You go to the village? Okay, in that case, I am going with her. Then the guy go to the village with them too. And we have eight countries in the world. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. do you know we have one planet in the world? You mean the world to me. My heart beats for you. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's go. Don't be in a hurry. Why? Why are you running late for the seminar? The seminar doesn't mean the world to me right now. But you came prepared for us at any seminar, so why are you... There's something more important I need to talk to you about. What is that? I need to talk to you. Of course you're not talking to my ghost, are you? Mokola. Do you know it takes two tango to tango? What are you saying? I don't know tango concerning the seminar. No, 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 sorry, sorry. I mean, eight countries in the world. What? Eight countries in the world? No, 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 no. I mean, we have 204 planets. Jesus, no, so? Sorry, 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 that's not what I meant to say. Then what is it? I, I, I want to tell you that we have nine billion countries of the people of the world. Nasu, are you okay? Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. It's an assignment I'm doing for geography students, a roommate of mine. Please stop budging yourself that Apple's assignment. Please, let's go, Joe. Let's go. Also, it is clear to me now that you are one of the reasons why so many ladies out there are going to remain single for a long time. Uh, but I'm trying my best. Why can't she understand that? Uh, that what? You will grow grey hair if you are hoping and waiting for her to read your mind. But my emotions are obvious now. Why can't she just understand that? Now? Hey, please, she... give me back my lover's guide. Give it to me. I've seen that you are disgracing and embarrassing my constituency. Boy, cool down now. I still need it. For how long? You have heard of that book for the past two weeks. And today that you summed up the courage to preach the gospel to her, you freaked out and, and, and allowed the devil to take over the pulpit. It's not like that. I... Then how? See, 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 I'm, let me be very frank with you. I'm not here to waste my time. If you know that you cannot woo a girl, then you better convert to gay and start to Jesse, man, I think it would be easier for you. Ah, uh, why can't you suggest such a thing? I, I've not even wooed a girl like you're telling me to. 
go after men? Do you want me to be admitted from beatings? Then what else do you want me to say? At your age, at your level, with all my coaches, no result. How else do you want me to take this? J boy, please help me. Help me just one more time. How? What do, what do you want me to do? Should I go and toast her for you? See, let me tell you, it's very clear to me that eventually, if you get this girl, it will take you two good years to give her an early peck. And another five years for you to get to the permanent site. Just help me get to the temporary site first. <sighs> okay, let's start on the fresh slate. This is new arrangement. If you mess this one up, I'm going to frustrate you. I will deal with you if you don't get this girl. Stamanda, I've been wanting to ask you something private. But we're alone, so you can tell me anything. Um, I... I don't even know how to put it. Put it however it comes to you. Okay, um... I want to know how... How do you know if someone loves you and you're in love with the person? <laughs> the answer is within the question. How? Okay. How do you know when you're hungry? Yeah, I just know that I'm hungry and maybe my snack will be biting me. Something like that. That is it. No one will tell you when you're in love. You just feel it. So now that you do not know, it simply means you're not of age to fall in love. And so what's the right age for love? How old are you now? I'm 15 going 16. So you have like 5 to 6 years to get to that age. But my classmate said 18 is the right age. Why are you changing it? 18 means you have come of age. The right time to begin to listen or care about love is when you get to the higher institution. Okay, what if one gets into the higher institution before 18? Can he or she fall in love? No. Why? <sighs> no, sir. After a careful examination of your case file, I realized that you belong to the WIMP group. WIMP group? What case file? <laughs> your love case file, of course. I realized that you belong to a group of men that are nice, handsome, but lacks the required liver and it takes time to express their feelings to the woman they admire. You see, this girl is my friend. She's my classmate. She's my confidant. In fact, I don't know how she reacts if I tell her how I feel. Then why don't you die in silence and stop bothering me? No, nah, G boy, I thought you said you should start on the fresh date. See, see, yeah? the reason why you are not making progress is because you are not spending money. Ah, uh, no. Uh, Buki does not need my money. In fact, sometimes she lends me money when I'm broke. Who is talking about you spending money on her? I'm talking about you spending money on me. How? I've been providing you free services. By the time you start paying for services rendered, you will sit up and dust your heart. But I want to tell her... See, see, if you really need my help here, we have to discuss my benefits. Else, just forget Buki. And if you waste time, I'm going to snatch her away from you because that girl is a potential office. Uh, please don't do that to you. know I'm deeply in love with you. Hey, Chatapu, deeply in love with you. Can you stand in front of Buki and tell her that you are deeply in love with her and deeply in love with her? That's why I want you to help me. That is why I want you to pay me. Buki, how much? I don't think I can wait till that age, you. See me, love is complicated. That's why I'm here for you to help me to fight. And you are complicating the more. See me, is. Anyone telling you he likes you or something? He's been telling me he loves me. Who is he? Um, my, sorry, I'll ask you. He gave me this letter. My lovely Simi, your beauty confuses me with that of the moon. Each time I see you, I forget the moon. And when I see it, it reminds me of you. You're my world. Please let me into your world so that we can shine and be together forever. I await your response ASAP. No, this is really. Uh, what's mean of ASAP? As soon as possible. So, have you responded to this letter? No, that's why I'm here for it to help me. I don't know what to reply. Simi, do you want me to tell you the truth? Yes. We should not be discussing this. Master Mona, why are you talking like this? You know if I should tell any other book, you don't point me to my dad. I... That's because you are not of right age to talk about love. Okay, what if I follow my mind and make mistakes? Okay, go and get me a pen and paper. Let me tell you what to reply your answer.
I die for you? I'm not here for entertainment. I have something urgent I need to tell you. I'm aware of that. How come? <laughs> Since you couldn't wait for me to come to school tomorrow, I know it's important. Hmm. Okay. So what is it? Um. Okay, just give me that glass of water. I'm really dehydrated. Excuse me. Good afternoon, Simi. How are you? A friend of mine told me that cowards die a thousand times before their actual death. Do you do that? That's very true. So instead of dying in silence, I've decided to tell you something I've been wanting to tell you. Okay, let's hear it. Um, I need you to do something small for me. And so, is there a problem? Yeah, yes. I need a small loan. Oh, come on now. So, this is something more serious than that. Oh, come on. Oh. Um, that's not all. How much is it? Any amount. Any amount? Don't you have a purpose for the room? I owe some guys money in the hostel and they've been disturbing me. And I can't think straight or even... In fact... How much is it? 2,000k. No, sorry. 2k. you this girl is an office please stop seeing her that way see guy you have to sharp it up oh anyway that aside i hope the formula worked perfectly well that's sweet so how did you apply it tell me exactly the way you said she should, i should react no 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 give me details what was her reaction mm, well um i told her straight i was deeply in love with the girl but i didn't tell her what the girl is that's good that's very good so what did she say uh, she acted the way she said she would, and, but she asked me who the girl is. Good! <laughs> that is very good. So, what was your response to that? What was your response to that now? So, what is the name of this USB guy? His name is my guy now. He said I should accept. I'm just joking. So, what is his name? Patrick. So, did this your Patrick tell you the reason why he's not going to accept your reply? I don't know for him more. He only said that he does not want Christian love. That the love he wants is different from Christian love. And what did you tell him? I told him that my school mother said Christian love is better than every kind of love. And he said I don't know anything. See, Simi, you're like a budding flower to boys now. They will tell you all the sweet words you want to hear so that they can pluck and play with your flower. The moment they see you have withered, they will drop you and move to the next flower. But it's a very caring and handsome guy. I wasn't expecting him to be ugly and wicked. Every boy is caring and kind, only when you're fresh. See, see me, if you want us to remain friends, you have to focus on your studies. I keep telling him to come to your church to see God's love. Okay, I'll keep telling him that. Better. Um, J-Boy, I didn't tell her she's the one I'm in love with. Oh, my God. You'll never fail again. No, 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 not at all. I wanted to introduce an element of suspense. You see, she was curious, so I told her to come over to the hostel so I can get the chance to confine the Namo and practice what you've taught me. Hmm. I think you are learning fast. It's not a bad idea. So we are expecting her at the hostel this evening. Um, yes, yes, that's the agenda. That's lovely. So what do I get my balance? I thought we agreed when I get my first kiss. And that should happen this evening. Because I don't want you to delay my balance. 
and make sure when you kiss her, don't wipe your lips so that I'll be sure you kiss her and get my balance. Okay, okay. Can we go now? Something like that. No, so, is it going to take forever for Buki to come? I'm wondering too. What do you mean you're wondering too? Didn't she assure you of her coming? She did before I left there, but maybe she changed her mind later. See, I want my balance today. You better call her and find out if she's coming or not. I've been calling her since and she suddenly switched off her number. What? She switched off on you? No, 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 no. I know my friend. She hey, that. up! Which friend? Why would you be making friends with a girl in the first place? Instead of going straight to the business. It is this your necessary closeness to her that is making you to lose your liver and intestine to express your love for her. Eh? See, see Nosu, this girl that is coming, we are going to use her to rehearse. Eh? Rehearse what? See, we have to use her to rehearse. We are going to tell Buki if she comes. Wait, 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 I'm not no, 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 wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. wait, wait. wait excuse me. My name is Jayborn. Please, I'm not interested in knowing your name. Why did you stop me? Oh, come on, be friendly now. We're not quarreling. kind of attitude can make a girl remain single for a very long time. Is that why you stopped me? That's not the reason. But I just wanted to be friendly. You see, I went to meet my friend sitting over there and just talk with him. And... Who beat your friend? I mean mine. No, sir! not here. Yesterday you lied that she was coming to the hostess to see us. She didn't come. And when I called again for you to practicalize and rehearse your toasting skills, you ran away like a frightened dog. No, trust me. I didn't lie to you. She couldn't call because her father came very early and she didn't have an excuse to, to come out at that time of day. And as for the girl, I wasn't ready. Nice storyline, but I'm not buying it. I'm serious. Trust me. Who is not serious here? Look, who is the joker here? Look, Nonso, I'm here for a very serious business. Don't forget I'm collecting my balance today. I'm, see, I'm just tired of your stupid lies. I can't keep up with them anymore. See, it took a lot for me to convince her to come for this meeting. And you don't expect me to kiss her today. Especially not in this, this public place. I may not survive it. I'll be glad if you die doing it. Whether you like it or not, you will kiss her today and I must collect my balance. And I'll be here to supervise the kissing. I'm not joking. No. Please now, eh? Why are you so particular about the kiss? Why the rush? Oh, so you don't know. See this Mumu, you kiss her and I get my balance. You think I'm ready to wait for another boring six months before you kiss her for me to collect my balance? I'm joking. But you will not sit on the same table with us. You have to go far away. It's not a problem. That's no issue. I will sit very far away, but I will make sure I watch you kiss her like I've taught you. But what if I do and she slaps me in return? Mila? Mm -hmm. uh, please, can I borrow your perfume? To impress who? Must I spray perfume to impress someone? Then there's no need wasting it. You know the battle I go through before buying this perf. It's not meant for fruitless spraying. Which one is fruitless spraying? Buki, you are still a student. This perfume is not meant for students. It's meant for serious business. After all, you don't even have body odor. Just a little, please. Why are you even going out to see? Don't I have the right to know? Hmm? Okay, let me spray it for you. Ah, 
Is it because of this spare you are spreading your wings like someone that wants to fly? Pilar, please, I'm running late. Then close your armpit because I'm not going to spray this spare into that white armpit of yours. So where else are you going to spray it? Your eyes, I guess. Now, so, by trying to bring you and Buki together can be termed as marketing. Really? Oh, yeah. And eventually when she comes and you express your heart desire to her, that is like presenting a business proposal. But when she accepts or rejects, what do you call that? That is simply proposal endorsement or rejection. And eventually when you kiss her and she gives you a hot slap in return, that is customer's feedback. No, 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 no. Ah, I don't want that kind of feedback. Oh. See, no, so every venture that involves risk needs customers' feedback for you to know whether to proceed or not. No, so you have to do it. You have to do it today. So you're totally wrong. It's not everyone. Look at you. I can prove to you that 85% of the project topics are photocopied. In fact, 100%. There are students in the past who diligently carried their research without copying. Some don't even copy. They just photocopy an old project topic, submit it to the supervisor with two bottles of wine and an envelope, and they get a B or C. It's apparent that someone cannot say something about his project after his or her graduation. It's a shame. I thank God they don't even defend projects in our department. Not only our department, there are so many faculties where projects are not being defended. But if I have my way, I will scream for it to be done in every faculty. Please, oh, ah, not in my time. Oh. I beg, don't spoil market for me. I want to graduate before such a time. So you subscribe to the improper way students are being churned out of the university system every year? Buki, let's leave the things we can change and change the things we can. It's a shame. But know that you and I must carry out our research in a normal way. Be prepared when the time comes. Okay, ma. Um, so, what's the important thing that brought us here? Stamanda, you won't believe what happened today in my school. What happened? I hope nobody died. What did I do? Sarah is dead. What? Who is she? She's my classmate. They said she did abortion and she died. Oh my god. But how did you do abortion? I don't think you should know about that. But I think you should know what causes abortion and eventual death. What? Exchanging love letters with your SP. Uh, that's true. So now what will be your next reply to your SP? I'll tell my daughter's dad like Sarah and that I'm not of age. Good. So now I want you to go home and change your uniform because I need to teach you some designs. Okay. You also teach me more things I was not good. Oh, sorry, I'm not okay. Move out of this place now. Who threw my bag on the floor? Senator, I'm talking now. Why don't you stop talking and start singing since I can't hear you talk? Well, you didn't say anything now. Where are you even coming from, by the way? I went to greet Sister Amanda. So you could drop your bag and go to greet small Amanda, who is not even up to my level. But came here and started interrogating me, Abby. Okay, I'm sorry. Good afternoon. Please, reach my bag on the floor. Ask the floor. See me? I'm seriously suspecting your unusual movement and closeness to the Amanda girl. What did I do that you are suspecting now? Why do you go there to do everything? Every day when you come back from school, fiam, Amanda's place. If I catch you gossiping me with that Amanda girl, eh, I will expose all your secrets in this house. I don't have any secrets. Oh. 
I don't have any secret. Oh, don't worry. You'll soon explain to Daddy who has been writing those love letters to you. So you think I don't see them, Abby? Because I've been overlooking you. So you've been secretly reading them. By the time your heart is broken once or twice, you will learn about love. If love was something to be taught, they would have included it in your work curriculum. I will never wash any of your clothes in this house again. Okay. Oh, my sister, be ready to face that spanner. Then I will also tell that there is no money from his job yesterday. Oh, so you think I didn't see you, Abby? Eh? So you know? How did you see me? The same way you saw my letters. Hope you have a do not steal on each other. No, so you are very funny. I didn't hear it. Can you say it again? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that's so you're gonna leave telling you take a minute. I want to see you in private. On earth were you whispering to that girl in there? I was not whispering to her now. I, I was kissing her like you instructed. He? Is that what you call a kiss? Is that, is that, is that what you call a kiss in your village? Eh, uh, something like that now. Okay. Congratulations, Mr. Kissa. Well done. Let me have my balance. Uh, I'll, I'll give you the hostel. If I do now, I won't be able to pay for our drinks. Ah, okay. Do you have call credits on your phone? I just want to call a friend and ask where he is. Uh, yes. Yeah. yes, just like it's there. Lasso, you see this phone? You will not get this phone until you go in there and kiss that girl properly, as instructed. In fact, I'm going in there now to expose you to her that you're in love with her, but you cannot even say it. Don't touch me. Dear boy, I guess you know me. Yeah, I see you around the campus. Okay, without wasting your time, um, I'm here to speak to you on behalf of my friend, you know, so. Your friend? Yeah. Uh... Shut up. Yes, my friend here has something very important to tell you, but uh, he doesn't have the guts to say it, so I said I should come and speak to you on behalf of him. I'm listening. Okay, um... Uh, it's like a confession, you know. A confession? Yeah. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, yeah. No, so please excuse us so that I do this properly, please. Excuse us. First and foremost, I, I want to say I like the scent of your perfume. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I also like your hairdo. It's fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. Okay, um, I'm not a studious student, so, but I'm not dull. Neither am I on serious. I'm just there, you know. I outwardly, I'm not be the kind of guy you desire, but inwardly, I can tell you I'm the kind of man you desire for life. <laughs> I don't get it. I thought you said you were here to speak on behalf of your friend. Oh, oh come on. That was just a trick to get close to you to do what I'm doing now. That means you're not a good guy inwardly too. Oh no, my dear, it's not like that. You see, even if it means stealing to get close to you, I just have to do it because you're worth it. You know, uh, there was no other better way to do it than this. I'm sorry. So, what do you want from me? Uh, you know, I, I've been asking my friend, as your friend now, so to, to tell you how I feel about you. But he's been saying he doesn't know how you're going to react and all that so i just said okay let me come talk to you myself why would i it's better to express your feelings and suppress it and besides i love people who air their minds not caring with oxys god wow i really appreciate that kind of encouragement um you see Buki, i want a place in your heart you see don't judge me with my attitude Look well i have heard Meaning? I have to put one I want together. I don't really know you that well. 
and I'm not sure if I'm looking for a relationship right now. But you spoke in your mind, so you give me time to think about it, then I'll speak my mind too. Oh, God bless you for that. I, I, I like that. Um, but can you, can I have your number so that we'll talk on phone subsequently? Oh, why not? Okay. Oh, oh, it's oh, yeah. three, four, okay. zero, one, okay. five, six, okay. eight, nine, eight, nine. Okay. Uh, no, so speak your phone. Um, Bookie, thank you very much. I, we'll, we'll talk of phone, but please, one more last favor. I, you know, I really like the scent of the perfume. I, I don't know. Please, can, can we just hug? It's hug you, you know. Please. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you very much. J-Boy lied to you. Lied to me about what? He had never told me that he likes you. He let him don't love you. Mm. I see. Maybe stay liking me from today, right? He doesn't love you and he will never love you. He's just a bloody liar. But so why are you bitter about this? You don't have led him to me. Yes, so, are you going to like him or what? I don't hate him. So, does it mean you are thinking about what he told you? Oh, no, so please. You've been hitting on this issue from school to this place. See, a woman feels complete when she's being admired and appreciated, though sometimes you may be pompous about it. You just promise me you, you won't like him. Do you mind telling me why? Because he's a cultist and he's going to hurt you. Your friend is a cultist and you brought him close to me? Okay, I promise I'll try not to like him. I'm tired. Can I go in now? Yes. Buki, please wait. Now, so what is it? I I have something to tell you. I, I, I like your perfume. Thank you. One last favor. Oh, no, so what is it again? Can I... Can I... Kiss? Sorry. Can I hold you? 